Today we're going to discuss the recently published article that was in Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology, which was entitled Dance and Rehabilitation in Cerebral Palsy, a Systematic Search and Review. This looks at dance and the application of dance and rehabilitation for children with cerebral palsy. This is a very exciting opportunity for us because we have virtually all three authors and our commentator to bring life and light to the multidimensional aspects of dance. We thought it'd be helpful to try and collate the research evidence that was available to try and understand if and at what levels engagement in dance, training and or performance may benefit individuals with disabilities. To this effect, we were aware of the science exploring outcomes of integrating music with movement, but wanted to delve deeper into what dance may offer. The paper is a systematic search and review of the published research on the effects of dance on the rehabilitation of people with cerebral palsy. We found 11 papers that addressed physical rehabilitation using dance or rhythmic auditory stimulation in cerebral palsy. The main findings are that dance and movement to music improve balance and walking for those that are ambulatory, and for people with CP that are non-ambulatory, cardiovascular function improved after participation in a social dance intervention. However, since we observed a paucity of research in this area, we include tables to facilitate the implementation of research and dance-based programs with targeted rehabilitation outcomes. In particular, we include a table classifying the main attributes of dance skill training from the neurophysiological point of view and map them to categories of the international classification of function. As a pediatric rehabilitation physician, I strive to encourage every child I see to find a community movement activity recreation or therapeutic that calls to them and have the child make it their very own. Many children are involved in sports, which promotes physical activity, team engagement. But I always wonder, what about those that are interested in the arts? Dance is very unique in that it utilizes music and rhythm and straddles both movement, artistic expression, and social function, and is increasingly used in rehab. There have been numerous studies investigating the effects of rhythmic auditory stimulation and music on movement coordination, and it turns out that when people move to a rhythm, movement becomes less variable. We do not exactly know what the mechanisms for this effect are, and we are usually not aware of it as we move to rhythm and music. In the case of rehabilitation, Music and rhythm are used to try to bring about coordinated patterns that may not be there otherwise, so that after training, the individual in rehabilitation gains additional coordination patterns that are available at will. In the practice of dance, it is up to the artist to choose how to interact with rhythm and music separate from the objectives of rehabilitation in terms of variability of movement production and movement choices. I'm a professional dancer with cerebral palsy. It wasn't until I even, I joined Heidi Latsky Dance that I even began to have a personal relationship with the disability community. Uh, I was really set to strike a chord on my own and become um, <laughs> a pioneering spirit. But when I became a part of this dance company, this physically integrated dance company, I learned how to befriend um, not only other people with streets with CP, but other manifestations of disability which have informed my life incredibly. And back to dance, I think that it's, it's a special, special outlet, a special um, uh, category of art because of its implicit um, interaction with an audience and being seen and being noticed by my being so fully engaged and fully exhibited, I'm opening up space for them to sit in. For 30 minutes, for an hour, there is a reckoning and an opening for all of us about what it all means, but what the dance means, um, and that we all have capacity, that we all have generative power, um, and I think that it just, just demystifies a lot of the separations that are uh, socially constructed to beget 
a, um, a more cohesive understanding that we have equal capacity to 